Hi everyone, Neil Wilcoxon here. Today we're gonna to be talking about five things that you need to consider when deciding whether or not to bring a high performance or gaming PC to college with you. Hopefully this video will help you make your decision, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to wanna to consider is how you're going to physically accommodate this computer. We're probably talking about a desktop here with multiple monitors and college living situations can be a bit tight. So you're going to wanna make sure that those monitors will fit on your desk. There's a place to put the actual tower of the computer. And if it won't fit on the desk that they provide, you're going to have to go and find a desk for yourself, find a place to put that old desk, everything like that. So start thinking about that and hopefully that'll give you some perspective. The second thing you're going to wanna to consider is money. And this can take all sorts of different directions depending on your situation. If you already own your computer, you're not going to have to buy anything, but you may have to pay electric bills if your apartment charges them. And this might not go over so well with your roommates if your PC is really power hungry and you leave it on all the time. Also, you should consider if having a gaming PC with you is going to encourage you to spend more money on games that you can't really afford. The third thing you're going to want to consider is the availability of other PCs. This might not apply so much to people who are using their PCs for gaming, but if you're using it for video editing like I would be, you may have other PCs available on campus to use for that, and they might have software that's much higher level than anything you're able to afford. So that's definitely something to look into. The fourth thing you're going to want to consider is how you're going to transport this PC to school with you. If you're just throwing a bunch of stuff in the back of your car and driving a short distance to school, this isn't such a big deal. But if you're going a longer distance, this could be a problem, and you may end up having to pay to ship the computer or things like that. Also, you're going to have to consider what you're going to do with this computer over university breaks and things like that. Are you going to take it home with you along with all the other gear that you've brought? That could be inconvenient, so definitely something to consider. The fifth and final thing to consider is how having a gaming computer at school with you will affect your available free time. It may be possible that there's lots of free time and you can make good use of your computer, but for people who don't have as good of self-control, it may become a problem and you end up spending time that you should have spent doing schoolwork, social life, things like that. So definitely another thing to consider. That's about it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to hit the like button down below. There's also a subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.